Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of third problem from exercise 1.1 from real numbers from NCRT class 10th. Here the problem is an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? So here members in an army contingent are given that is 616 and members in an army band is equal to 32 members. So here there are two groups. So the two groups are to march in the same number of columns. So here we have to find the maximum number of columns in which they can march. Here we have to find maximum number of columns that is equal to HCF of 32 and 616 because maximum means highest of common factor for these two numbers. So that is nothing but HCF of 32 and 616. We have to find HCF of these two numbers. So we know that to find HCF we can use Euclid's division algorithm. So apply Euclid's division lemma on these two numbers. Here 616 is uh, larger than 32. So divide 616 with 32 then 32 ones are 32 then 29 and bring down this 6 then 32 nines are 288 then the remainder is 8. So 616 we can write as 32 into 19, 32 into 19 plus the remainder is 8. So here the remainder is not equal to 0. Again divide this 32 with 8. So 8 fours are 32 then the remainder is 0. So 32 is equal to 8 into 4 plus 0. So here the remainder is 0. So here the divisor is 8. So this is the HCF of 32 and 616. Therefore HCF of 32 and 616 is equal to 8. Therefore, maximum number of columns in which they can march is equal to 8. Now, you can see from this figure, here this is an army band and this is an army contingent. So, here there are 8 columns because HCF is equal to 8. So, there are 8 columns for each group. So, here there are 8 columns for army band then uh, 32 by 8 is equal to 4 members. So, in each column there are 4 members and for an army contingent there are 8 columns and uh, 616 by 8 is equal to 77. So, in each column there are 77 members. Now, do these questions. This is the answer for second question.